Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from InMotion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for a video in our RoundCube series. Today I'm going to show you how to compose an email in RoundCube. Okay, begin by logging into your webmail. Be sure to use your full email address as your username. All right, once you've logged in, you'll see the three options available here. And you'll also see that you are logged in as, and it lists your email address. So I always like to verify that I'm logged in with the correct email address. And then once you verify that, go ahead and click Round Cube. Okay, and at this time, I don't have any messages in my inbox, as you can see. Um, so you may see some emails listed there if you've received any. Uh, and now we're going to go and we're going to actually compose this first email so you'll see the compose option here let's go ahead and click that and this is very similar to to any email client that you've used you'll notice my email address my from address is listed there and then we're going to enter a to address and for this I'm just going to enter docs at inmotionhosting.com and then for the subject I'm just going to put this is a test email and this is essentially what they're going to see is the subject of the email that's what they would see in the description when they see it in their inbox and I'm just going to say hello everyone Oops. this is a test and essentially in this body field is what you want to put the actual email most people are probably pretty familiar with this uh, but go ahead and enter your email in that section if you want to attach a file you can do so by clicking the attach a file button here and actually choosing a file to attach to your email um, I'm just gonna attach this backup as a test go ahead and open it and then you'll see it'll list the file there go ahead and click upload You'll also see it says there's a 50 megabyte limit on this file size, and and that's a good amount of size. But keep in mind, keep in mind that many email recipients might not be able to receive a 50 meg file. It's kind of large. I know that um, some email services cut it off at about 20 megs. So while you may be able to send a file up to 50 megs, it may not actually go through if they don't allow it, uh, depending on the recipient's uh, mail server. Test email. I attached a backup Thank you and then once you've composed your actual email you can click you can click the send button here and so I'm going to go ahead and send it you'll see sending the message note down here and this may take a little bit of time just because of my attachment but in your case it shouldn't take that long in, in most cases once you've sent the email you'll see the message in the bottom right it said it was sent successfully and then you could also click your sent box here and you'll see your test email listed there uh, with the subject line thank you for joining us for a video in our round cube series feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.